hope you're having a great week. It's me again, Jasmine. And today I'm gonna to talk about the bachelor degree requirement to become a CRA. So many people have expressed their disagreements with the minimum bachelor degree requirement for entry level CRA positions. And the most common reasons I hear include I've been in the industry for, you know, 10 plus years as a study coordinator or CTA or another common clinical research position. So it shouldn't matter. Um, another one I hear is that I've been told by several successful industry professionals that I would make a great CRA and I've been referred by one um, or many, but no one will give me a chance. And then another one that I often hear is that I've worked with many CRAs for many years and I can do a better job than most of them. Well, while all of that may be true, um, company requirements are still just that, company requirements, whether we agree with them or not. And if you truly want to become a CRA and you do not have a bachelor's degree, I strongly recommend that you get one. Now, you don't have to go to Harvard or Yale or get a fancy degree in a super sophisticated major. I do recommend seeking a science degree if you haven't already started, but just know that all you truly need is some type of bachelor's. And with today's technology, you can essentially go to school anywhere at any time. Now, some may say, well, I don't have the money and I don't want to take out student loans. Well, guess what? I didn't want to take out student loans either, but I had a goal and I decided to meet the requirements to reach that goal by any legal and ethical means necessary. I'll also add that there are many nurses and physician's assistants that are just as skilled and knowledgeable, um, maybe even more so than some physicians, but getting an MD or a DO is a requirement to become a physician. So until you meet that minimum requirement, you will not become a physician, at least not in this in the United States. So now as I've, as I've said before, Having a bachelor's degree is not a 100% requirement across all CRA positions, but there are very few exceptions to this rule, especially if you're a new CRA. And even if you do manage to land a position, it will greatly impede your career progress and growth. So again, if you truly want to become a successful CRA and you do not have a bachelor's degree, it's time to get one. Now, please feel free to share this video, tag a friend um, who may be looking for some advice, and as always, for more tips, tools, and information like this, please follow me and drop a comment or send me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as possible with an answer to your question. Thank you for listening and I hope you guys have a great week.